Welcome to another video, another day of Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite fall winter outfits that I have. Um, I would be lying if I said this video wasn't just a tiny bit selfish. I feel like lately all I wear is leggings and a t-shirt every single day and I always feel like I don't have anything to wear when the reality is I have a closet full of clothes. I just have forgotten I think what I have and what outfits could be made. So I wanted to challenge myself and pull out a bunch of clothes that I haven't worn in a long time, make outfits out of it, and I just figured I would film it and show you what I came up with. Um, I feel like this could be a great challenge for you too if you feel like you're in the same position as me, if you pull out a bunch of clothes that you have forgotten that you had or you haven't worn in a long time and made some outfits out of it and see what you can come up with. So I am going to start with what I'm wearing right now. I will preface with I live in a climate that is not super cold. So I live in Canada, but we're barely below freezing most of the time. We are having a little bit of a colder winter than normal, but we just get a lot of rain and not terribly, terribly cold snowy winters. So just keep that in mind when you see my outfits. They may not work for the climate that you live in. Also, we're gonna have to ignore the puppy. I'm hoping he stops barking, but he keeps barking every once in a while just to ruin my video. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into it. Let's start with the outfit I am wearing right now. I feel like this outfit here takes pretty much what I've already been wearing every day and just elevates it just a little bit. So it's just a pair of plain black Lululemon leggings, a white, black and white striped t-shirt, but then I've layered it with a like jean, button-up shirt and a festive scarf, I feel like, this like red festive scarf. So it just kind of takes a basic thing that you're already wearing and elevates it a little bit more. I would pair this with my Blundstone boots. So I honestly wear this pretty much, this is my staple shoe all winter long. That is something I definitely don't have a lot in my wardrobe is shoes because I just kind of pick one for the season and that's all I wear. Yeah, so I would pretty much wear my Blundstones with every single outfit that I'm gonna show you today. If I was to dress up maybe a little bit, <laughs> Honestly, I maybe even still would wear them underneath the dress, but it's just, that's how I am. I'm not a big shoe person. I tend to kind of have one pair of shoes for every season. So in the winter, it is my Blundstones. And then in the summer, it is my Vans Runners that kind of just wear with everything. But wear any sort of, I think, short booty would look really cute with most of these outfits. I feel like this is my perfect, warm, cozy, pre-skiing outfit. Um, I really love this vest from Abercrombie, I'm pretty sure it's from, with like this faux leather, Sherpa material mix, and this like creamy color. I just paired it with a white t-shirt, and again, black leggings, the same leggings. I feel like the key to this wardrobe revamp is taking my plain t-shirt and leggings and layering. <laughs> so this was my current layer choice. I really like it. It's really warm. I like that this vest comes down and mostly it covers my bum. The more coverage I can kind of get in the back, the happier I am with a shirt. So yeah, this is my next outfit. Okay, I'm in love with this sweater. I totally forgot I had it from American Eagle and I just love the colors. So it's like this gray, this baby pink, these creamy colors. And I think that it's such a simple look to just throw on a pair of jeans. Yes, we changed out of the leggings. <laughs> throw on a pair of jeans and throw on a big chunky knit sweater and you have a look I feel like put together. I like to tuck my sweaters in a little bit, just I feel like it gives me a little bit more shape. Yeah, so I just really like that loose, chunky knit sweater tuck look. Um, again, I would wear it with my Blundstones. I've got my tall socks on. I really like that look of just like the tall socks sticking out above the Blundstones. Um, but again, I think that it would look cute with any short booty or even a tall booty. I am still 
team skinny jeans. I know that that's been a big controversy I feel like lately, but I was born early 90s. I'm definitely in that skinny jean era and it's gonna be hard for me to break out of it. So I am still here with my skinny jeans in my boots. Um, yeah, so this is my next super simple look. I'd completely forgotten I'd had this sweater, which was the whole point of this video. So I'm really happy that I re-found it. Okay, this sweater here is from Abercrombie. I love it. I have had my eye on it for years and it finally came out this year. It was on sale. It came out in like a really pretty oatmeal-y color. It's this half like faux leather on the top and then like this fleecy fabric on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I just really love it. It's super comfortable. I'm just having a hard time with this. So it's got like an asymmetrical button to it, which I think is really cute, but I just feel like it keeps like, well, jumping up in my face. So like, I don't know if I should leave it open. I think I prefer it with the first two buttons done up. But yeah, I just don't know. Let me know what you think down below how I should wear that. Um, yeah, but besides that, I love the color. I love the fit. I feel like this would be a great warmer layering piece. So this, I am still wearing the jeans. I definitely feel like I could wear it with leggings. Um, again, I'd wear it with my blundstones. Super comfortable, soft. Um, yeah, just I think a great piece. This underneath a like big jacket if you lived somewhere really cold. I feel like it gives you like a nice, good, warm layer. So yeah, I just really, I really like this one. And I forgot I had it because I just bought it a couple months ago when it was still warm and here we go. <laughs> okay, I feel like this next outfit kind of just takes like a super summery, cute like baby doll shirt and winterizes it just by adding a scarf. So I think that just makes it like a super simple, easy. I'm just wearing it with jeans again. Um, this really cute like mauve pink top and then this gray scarf just to kind of make it feel warmer. Again, I live in a climate where it's not super cold. So I feel like I could pull this off and maybe just like wear a sweater over top or a jacket when I'm outside, but it definitely would not be too cold here for me to wear this outfit and people not think I'm crazy. So um, if you live somewhere colder, maybe this wouldn't work, but I think that that's just a great option too. Just take something summer, add some layers, add a scarf, add a cardigan, um, and you can make it into a winter outfit. Okay, for the last one, this is a huge go-to for me. I feel like it just like screams Christmas and winter. Um, just a pair of black leggings, my Blundstone boots, and a buttoned down flannel. Any color, I really love the reds, especially because I mostly wear these around Christmas time. So I feel like it really feels like Christmas, um, but I just really feel like this looks good on anyone, really any body type, any style. I like it when it's just a little bit like looser and flowy. I like that it covers my bum. Um, I just think that it's really cute. I feel like you can wear your hair down, you can wear your hair up, you, yeah, it's just like super comfortable, super easy, 100% one of my favorite go-to looks. I also really want to get a jean jacket. I really want like a fleece lined jean jacket. I think that that would look really cute layered over top of a flannel. Don't have one, but definitely on my list of one of the things I would like to get. Um, yeah, so that is my last outfit for today. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to have you here. I would love if you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another one of my videos. I will be posting every other day um, throughout December up until Christmas for Vlogmas. Uh, yeah, so I would love to see you next time. Bye.